Hey what's going on Weavers, Tim here again, and in this episode we will be learning how to paracord handle wrap in SC Azula in this 360 strider style. We also did this one with a lanyard and an awesome bane bead, which is completely optional of course. I love the way this wrap looks and with that snake knot lanyard it came out really nicely. This wrap can definitely be done on other kinds of knives as long as the handle shape permits it. If this is something that you want to see more of on this channel, please like the video and comment down below. And also if you're enjoying the content on this channel and want to support directly, please check out my Patreon page for awesome perks like exclusive videos and Discord. That being said, let's get into it. To start this one off, we're going to remove the stock micarta scales on this knife. You'll need a T15 Torx bit to unscrew the screws. These micarta scales are actually really nice and I quite like them as green micarta is one of my favorite knife handle materials. However, some people might want to change out the micarta for paracord as it does reduce the overall weight of the knife or they just might want to customize the knife for themselves. So now with these scales off, I've got my paracord that I'm working with. I'm using gold and you'll also need the sheath of the knife unless you're clamping the knife to something to work on. Also, I'm using this really cool bane bead to add some decoration. If weight is a concern for you, you can leave the bead off, of course. I've now got my knife in its sheath, and with the midpoint of my gold paracord, I'm going to loop it around the handle of the knife. From there, bring both strands to the opposite side, and then cross the cords over twice, and I'm going clockwise. Then lay the cords flat against the knife going up the handle and from there turn the knife handle to the other side and do the same clockwise double twist crossing the cords over each other. From there repeat the same pattern over and over to wrap the rest of the knife handle. To achieve the best results, keep some good tension on the cords to keep the twists tight. Also, you'll have to keep the twists in the center of the knife handle to make sure it doesn't look crooked or anything. So just keep doing this double twist pattern until you reach the end of the handle. I've now reached the end of the handle and now coming up on the ringed section. I'm going to take the right strand and start wrapping it around the ringed part of the handle. And this is going to take about five wraps. When that's done, you can do the same on the left side, doing five wraps as well. You can probably fit in six wraps if you really want to. Once you get both strands wrapped to the top, you're going to loosen the last loop on the right side and then pass the right side strand under the loop. Then do the same on the left side Loosen the last loop and pass the left strand under, bringing it to the middle as well so both running ends are side by side. From here, if you're not tying a lanyard, you can just snip and melt the cords where they are. For me though, I'm going to tie some snake knots. I'm going to loop my left strand around the right, then loop the right around the outside of the left and pass it through the loop on the right. Pull tight and then cinch up that snake knot. So just repeat that process for as many knots as you like. I'm doing seven snake knots. Next, I have my Bane bead and I wanna put that on the lanyard. Again, if weight is a concern for you, no need to attach this, of course. So I'm just going to pass my cords through the holes on the bead and move it up the strands. Lastly, I'm going to tie a two strand diamond knot to finish it off. I'm going to make a counterclockwise loop with the right strand laying it over the left. Bring the left side around the right and go under the section under the loop.
After forming the Carex bend, bring the right side strand counterclockwise past the base strand and go through the middle. With the left, go counterclockwise past the base strand and go through the middle. Gather both strands and tighten the diamond knot. When that's done, just position your diamond knot by working the excess cord above the diamond knot out the terminal ends. Once that's done, just snip the excess cords off at the end. I'm leaving some tails on my lanyard, but you can clip them flush if you want. And there we have it weavers, there is our SE Azula done with the 360 Strider handle wrap with a beaded lanyard. I think this one came out great and is one of the nicer looking wraps that can be done on the Azula and other knife handles of course. So if you guys want to see more of this type of video please let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video please hit that like button, if not hit the dislike. That being said a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you want access to exclusive tutorials as well as our Discord server, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the video cards as well as down below. You can join for as little as $3 a month. Also feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.